Okay, today we're going to have an unboxing of a Narwhal School Kill fountain pen. Your Narwhal fountain pen is going to arrive in this box. It's a white box with the Narwhal name on both of the longer sides and the Narwhal logo on top. And I love how light and bright um, their branding is. Um, the Narwhal company is uh, new to Pen Chalet. They're, and actually, it's a fairly new company overall. The company was started a couple years ago in 2019 by a couple um, men who I believe live on the West Coast. Um, and they just both really love fountain pens. And they wanted to um, create their own version of the classic fountain pen that was colorful and fun and affordable. Um, so you, the box is a lift off top. On this other side, and the first thing you'll see is your Narwhal user guide um, and warranty. So inside is your user guide, and this talks about how to use your Narwhal fountain pen. Oh, I'm sorry, and on the back is your warranty card. And inserted in a, inserted securely in this foam insert is your pen, and there's also a little tool here that you might need for, um, working with your um, pen if you need to get into the piston filling uh, mechanism um, and then that's all that's included in your box so we'll set that aside the pin's in a sleeve that you can just slide the pin right out and then you see your narwhal school kill fountain pen and the name of this pen school kill is actually um it's a dutch word um, but there's a river in pennsylvania that is named school kill so <clears throat> this is your Fountain pen. Originally, this fountain pen came out, I believe, in the Marlin Blue, which we also have available. Um, but um, in addition to the Marlin Blue, there are now a few other color options available for the um, Narwhal School Kill fountain pen. So you have your um, basic design here, and it's a slightly um, tapered from the ends. So you've got your cap that is thinnest up top, and then um, the, the widest part of the pen is going to be the center of the um, the barrel and the bottom of the cap. Um, you have a silver, you have silver trim, and you'll see that both in the, um, I always think this is gonna be um, a spring lever clip, but it, it's a spring metal clip. It works well though, I like it, and I like the extra room this integrated um, portion offers. And then you'll also see a little bit of the silver down here in this um, um, thin ring between um, the, the barrel and where the piston knob is going to, is where the piston knob begins. And then also on the, on the end cap, there's a, um, a silver insert here and it is rounded similar to the um, design of the pin, the overall design of the pin, but it also, it's, um, differentiated so it stands out a little bit and it's a nice element since that um, incorporates the silver again. I like the um, symmetry they've got going. Um, and then you also have here in the center um, a small ink window and I like this it's a really great addition to the pen design and also practical so you can see um, how much ink you've got but it's also subtle because a lot of pins have um, the trim color, a ring or a few rings here in the center. Um, and so they basically, I think, took that classic design element that you see a lot in fountain pins and they um, kind of evolved it into this little ink window. And I think that's a clever, a clever um, use of that traditional pin design layout. Okay, you do have a threaded cap. You've got your number six stainless steel nib here and it does have the um, Narwhal logo there on the nib. So one of the intentions behind the men who created this company, Narwhal, was that they create an affordable quality fountain pen. So this is a great introductory um, piston filler. It's very affordable, especially for a piston filler. And, um, and it has a great following and a good fan base. People really enjoy their Narwhal pins. Um, the material of the barrel and the cap are both resin 
and the resin material will be unique to the pin that you receive um, just because of the way the material is made. Um, so it's custom made resin. So each pin will be unique depending on the material that was used to create that pin. Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned that their stainless steel nibs, their number six stainless steel nibs are made in house. So since this is a piston filler, um, you won't need to take your pen apart to ink it. The piston knob is this back portion at the end of the barrel, and you're gonna go ahead and turn it all the way to counterclockwise until you feel resistance. And then your pen is ready to dip in the ink, and then you turn it all the way clockwise until you feel resistance while it's dipped in the ink. And that should pull the ink up into the barrel of your pen so it's ready to um, go ahead and use. These pens are known for offering um, a lovely writing experience and the nibs are said to be quite smooth. Um, we'll keep y'all updated as we move along. We've just added these inventory. So this, the school kill and chroma teal, the, this is, that's the one feature here, or any other color um, that is currently available at the school kill or um, any other narwhal pins, go ahead and check it out on pinchlay.com.